Now we're going to join the Davis family from Triple D Farms as they make a batch of maple candy using a candy machine. We're going to start by boiling the syrup to 33 degrees above the boiling temperature of water. Prior to this, you always want to make sure to check the biometric pressure as that can change the boiling point. Triple D makes their candy using golden delicate or light amber rich syrup. After the syrup reaches temperature, they're going to remove it from heat and pour it into the upper trough of the candy machine known as the pig. Each gallon of maple syrup makes approximately 7.5 pounds of candy or 350 one third ounce maple leaves. The syrup is let to sit in the pig to cool to about 200 degrees before they start stirring it, which will cause it to crystallize and turn into candy. As the syrup is turned in the auger, it starts to change colors, which means that crystallization is occurring. Then they are going to open the valve on the auger and begin filling the molds. While they're filling the molds, they control how much syrup is in the auger with the valve in the pig. They usually allow the candies to cool in the molds for 45 minutes to an hour before removing. Triple D Maple is located in Middlebury Center, PA, and they're part of the Potter Tioga Maple Association. They have been involved in maple production since the 1980s, but built their sugar house in 2013 and then branched into other maple products the same year that they became certified organic, which was in 2016. After the candy has dried for 24 hours, they go ahead and soak it in syrup for 6 to 12 hours to give it a crystal coating, which helps the candy last longer. After the candy is soaked, they allow it to dry up to 48 hours before they package it. Pictured here, there are 280 maple candy leaves. The syrup the candy is soaked in is between 70 and 72 bricks, meaning it has a higher sugar concentration than standard maple syrup, which should be roughly 66 bricks.